everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome. Today I have a weekly vlog for you. Alright, so we are starting this vlog off with a little bit of a rant. So, Joe and I just went to vote, and it was... First of all, vote. <laughs> Please vote. Second of all, I can understand why people are discouraged from voting. Um, it was quite the annoying process to be honest. So Joe and I move around a lot, but moving back to where we are now, we've had to register to vote three different times. I've had to register us until it finally took and it finally recognized us as being registered. It took three times to do that online. Um, however, where we moved to, the address is really new, like even GPS, it won't recognize our address. So when I tried to type in the address, um, it said address not found. It was telling me I wasn't using a valid address and it was just very frustrating doing it online. So it said that you could have a mailing address and then a voting address. So um, my parents live in the same area, so I just used their address for the voting address because it just with the different options and stuff that was listed. That's just what I did and it seemed like everything would be fine. So we went up there to vote and the person that Joe dealt with was like a lot nicer and a lot easier to deal with, but I was dealing with this older woman and she was so discouraging of me voting. Um, she argued with me for a good three solid minutes about me not being registered um, and <laughs> I can see how if somebody that doesn't have a lot of patience or anything could just be like, okay, well then forget it. Because she was just, I was just waiting for her to tell me, you cannot vote today. Like the words are right on the tip of her tongue and I'm pretty sure it was going to be the next thing out of her mouth if I didn't say it. GPS can't even find my address because she was like, what's going on? I asked, I asked if she needed my ID and she said no. So she asked for my address and I explained the situation to her and she goes, well, it's in my computer right here, so I don't know how you were having problems. Like, basically, being very degrading towards me, talking to me like I was an idiot. Um, didn't appreciate that. So, she was arguing with me for a good three minutes about this whole address thing, and I, like, tried to explain to her over and over and over again, and she wasn't understanding, and she was not wanting to let me vote. So, um, I eventually said, even GPS doesn't recognize our address. Like, I don't know what to tell you. And she was just like... Oh, well, that makes sense. I can see that. And so she was just like, this still should have been cleared up before, like very luxury of me. I don't know if it's because I'm younger or because I look younger than what I am. It was just very frustrating talking and dealing with her. So eventually she said, you're going to have to vote by paper. You can't vote electronically. So I was like, whatever. I just want to vote. That's why I'm here. And then she was just like amazed that somebody younger like me was out actually voting. Like she was just so condescending and rude. So anyways, we had a vote by paper. They were like, okay, vote by paper. Your vote will be counted, blah, blah, blah. They gave us this piece of paper. I start reading it. And there's a really good chance that our vote isn't even going to be counted according to this paper. According to this paper, we need to call a hotline number to see if we're required to bring a form of ID because this whole paper is basically saying that we refuse to show proper identification when we went to vote, which is ridiculous because nobody asked for our identification. We offered to show it and they didn't want it. So they gave us the paper ballot, they gave us this paper explaining because we refused to show our identification that we need to call a hotline number starting November 7th through the 13th during certain hours of the day to see if we are required to somehow show proper identification. It basically says to see if whether or not your vote was actually counted, please call this hotline number. Why wouldn't my vote be counted? I voted. Why wouldn't you count that? And apparently they will give you an explanation as to why your ballot was not counted if it wasn't. I mean, this is just ridiculous to me. This whole voting system is just something needs to change. It is extremely frustrating to register to vote. It's extremely frustrating going into voting and then to find out that my vote may not even be counted because I refuse to give identification when nobody asked for it and nobody would take it when I offered. Um, there has to be a way to make this process simpler so people aren't discouraged from voting. 
And I think that you should be given some kind of receipt. I was talking about this with my dad. You should be given like some kind of receipt or something to show that your vote was counted and that you did vote because who's to say they didn't just take our ballots and throw it in the trash? Who's to say that the electronic ballots are even counted? You know what I mean? Like I, our voting system here in America is very shady and weird. And that's, that's my rant on that. So carry Bacon wrap mozzarella. Bacon. Uh, Doritos mixed with bacon. Dorito. Dorito crust served with bacon wrap mozzarella sticks. I don't know where the bacon is wrapped, but it's just ground up in that joy. You want to bite them? You can taste the bacon. I like mine the most. This has a smoky taste too. Waffle breaded chicken fritters lightly tossed in hot honey sauce. That's probably where the heat comes from. Served inside a jumbo waffle cone drizzled with bacon, maple syrup, and sweet potato fries. One of my favorite parts of living in the country is going out on country drives and not really having to worry about there being traffic or really any cars at all. So I just wanted to show you guys around, try to get some fall colors, but the leaves just aren't quite changing yet. So I tried to pick that up on camera and don't worry, I'm not going super fast. I just sped up the video. Here we have some roadside pheasants, I believe. A lot of the times I'll find chickens or turkeys, but it's pretty rare to see these guys. They're so pretty. Are you the Halloween dog? See, we've only had one trick-or-treater so far. Well, trick-or-treating was a bust. We had all of one person come, so. <laughs> All right, so I have a sad, bit of a sad update. Um, and it's what the rest of the vlog is gonna be. So if you don't wanna hear about this, um, if it's upsetting for you, then feel free to click off. But today, uh, this afternoon, my mom called me and basically we had to put our family dog down. Um, I think she was in the last vlog or the vlog before that, but she was a golden retriever at my parents' house. She's, she was 13 years old, so she, she lived a really long time. 
and we had her for the last 10 years of her life. Um, we rescued her when she was three, so... It's just so weird, and it's just, like, it's sad. But at the same time, I'm, like, trying to be at peace with it because she just... She wasn't living quality life, and I'm almost comforted in the fact of knowing that she's somewhere better. Um, I just tell myself she's not in pain anymore. And she's, you know, you just have to take comfort in, like, whatever it is that you believe that she's not in pain anymore in that... She's happy, and she's at peace, I hope. <laughs> so that's just kind of like what I've been trying to tell myself. Um, it's just hard. She hasn't been doing well for a while. I was telling my mom like almost a month ago, I was like, the time is coming, like the time is nearing, because she's just been having these little episodes where I think she's been having mini seizures. Um, she just had trouble keeping food down. Um... But my mom called me this afternoon and she just said, I need, yeah, I, it's today's the day. Like we have to do it. Um, unfortunately our vet, his schedule was just too packed today. So he wasn't able to come out to the house. So there wasn't enough time to plan for that. He said he would be able to come out tomorrow, but it would have been cruel to keep her around until then. So unfortunately we had to take her to the vet to put her down, um, and it was just sad seeing her today because she just, she, she wasn't there anymore. She was gone. Um, my mom called me this afternoon and said that she had an episode where she got sick and she just hadn't been able to recover from it. She couldn't stand. She was just falling over and just shaking. So we had to act pretty fast and just trying, trying to get her to the vet as soon as possible just so she wasn't suffering anymore and in any more pain and, when I got there, my parents had her in the cage because she just wasn't doing well. And when we let her out of the cage to try to transfer it to the car, she tried walking and she was just, there was just something neurologically not there because she just was going in a circle and just fell over and collapsed. And it was just one of the saddest things to see. Um, and her head was just like bobbing around and her eyes were shaking. This one's been trying to comfort me since I've been home. Um she she wasn't there today at all. She wasn't she wasn't mentally there. So, we took her to the vet and they had a pretty nice room that they put them down in. So, we just made a bed with a bunch of blankets for her and made her as comfortable as possible and I just feel bad. My parents were, like, so upset. Like, it was my dad's dog, so. It's always hard when you lose a pet. I remember almost two years. It'll be two years next month. We lost Daisy, and Daisy was my baby. And she was, like, Daisy for me was one of those once-in-a-lifetime dogs. No, no offense to Luna. She was one of those once in a lifetime dogs that you just connect with and they're like your best friend and they have like this sixth sense and they just know, like they can just feel your emotion and like they're there for you when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're upset. And when I had nobody, Daisy was that dog for me. So it was really hard for me when we lost her two years ago and then now with Maddie. So basically the dogs that were like at the end of my adolescence uh, into my early adulthood are gone now, so, luckily my parents, my parents have Lady now to be there for them, but that's also why there wasn't a video up a Wednesday, I just couldn't do it, and I just wanted to include the footage from earlier this week in here, so it wasn't all sad, um, but I'm just taking the next couple of days to just gather my thoughts and just come to peace with things. So should be back on a normal schedule for next week. 
<sighs> this is just like such a bad way to end a video and I don't even really want to include this, but it's part of life and it's what's going on in my life. So I just wanted to share with you guys. So that is going to wrap it up for me today. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.